Your cell phone may seem far removed from the African Serengeti, that vast repository of wildlife that is one of the natural wonders of the world. But there's a connection that has environmentalists alarmed, and it's all about a road. NBC's chief foreign correspondent, Richard Engel, gives us a rare look at a wild and pristine world now threatened. The Serengeti National Park in northern Tanzania is an Eden of biodiversity, with two-ton hippos, giraffes, zebras, and lions, the proud kings. But environmentalists say the Serengeti is at risk of total collapse. The Tanzanian government plans to build a road for commercial trucks straight through the Serengeti. We set off in a 4x4 Jeep on trails used by park rangers that could soon become a two-lane, 33-mile highway. Our first impression, zebra, wildebeest, and endangered predators will likely end up as roadkill. Animals jumped out of the way as we drove. Lions sat right in the path of our Jeep. And conservationists say the highway could even stop the great migration of two million wildebeest, zebra, and gazelle. We're very worried about just how detrimental it, it could be. Princeton University professor Andrew Dobson was one of 27 renowned environmentalists to make an appeal in the journal Nature last September not to build the road. You get a reduction in, in the wildlife. In, in this area, it could be as much as 50, 70 percent of a decline in species such as the wildebeest. We drove on and found the government has already started making preparations. And if you look here between these stones, it has already sunk into the ground concrete markers to show contractors which way this road is supposed to go. Poaching is another problem. It already happens, but with a road, the Serengeti could become a drive through for poachers of elephants and their ivory. So why build the road, which was a big political promise in Tanzania's recent elections? The reason is probably in your pocket, cell phones. The Lake Victoria region in Central Africa is rich in rare earth metals that are essential for cell phones and hybrid car batteries. The shortest route to move the minerals from Lake Victoria to the coast is through the Serengeti. China is buying them as fast as it can, and Tanzania wants to sell. Tanzanian officials declined to be interviewed on camera for this story. But on a balloon ride over the vast plains, tourists were horrified. Uh, total disgust. You know, I, I don't agree with it whatsoever. Catastrophic for something like that to happen. Totally inappropriate. A road that could bring prosperity to a poor nation, but also destroy one of nature's greatest treasures. Richard Engel, NBC News, the Serengeti.